Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And in today's video, we're going to be saving this beverage cooler from the landfill by turning it into a bait tank. So stick around. Alright guys, a few days ago my dad sent me a text. He was at work and they were getting ready to throw this insulated beverage cooler away. He asked me if I wanted it and whether I thought there was anything I could do with it. Well, the first thing that came to mind was to make me a bait tank that I could keep in the garage and keep some fish alive. So I've gone ahead and ran to the hardware store today and to Walmart. I picked up all the supplies I think we're going to need. I'm going to show those to you now and then we'll get started converting this thing into a bait tank. We will be using a Harbor Freight fountain pump and an aquarium air pump in this project. The rest of the materials can be purchased at your local hardware store. Check the video description for a detailed materials list. Step 1. Use a heat gun to carefully heat your PVC pipe. Bend the pipe to fit the contour of your bait tank testing periodically for fit. You may ignore this step if you are using anything other than a rounded bait tank. Step 2. Measure and mark hole locations on your PVC pipe at 1 inch intervals. Step 3. Use a drill and a 3 16 inch bit to drill holes in your pipe at the locations marked in step two. Step four, use PVC primer and cement to install fittings to each end of your sprayer bar. One end will have a cap, the other will get a 90 degree threaded elbow. Step 5. Install a 5 8 inch hose barb fitting into the threaded elbow and tighten securely. Step 6. Drill holes for conduit hangers. Install the conduit hangers using machine screws. Attach sprayer bar to the hangers and tighten. Use care to avoid over-tightening the conduit hangers. This could cause damage to the sprayer bar. Step 7. Install fountain pump at the bottom of the bait tank. Attach pump to sprayer bar using 5 8 inch tubing. Step 8. Cut two short sections of airline tubing. Attach check valves to aquarium air pump. The check valve will be marked to indicate the direction of the flow. Step 9. Attach aquarium air pump to bait tank using stainless hardware. Step 10. Determine desired air stone mounting locations. Route airline from air stones to aquarium pump. This beverage container had grooves that held air line perfectly. Step 11. Attach air stones to bait tank using hot glue. Step 12. Complete your installation by attaching the air lines from the air stones to the check valves on the air pump. Step 13. Test your fountain pump and air pump for proper operation. Alright guys, well that's going to pretty much do it for today's video. The air pump and water pump are both working perfectly and that's going to help keep that water oxygenated and circulated to keep our bait alive. Guys, this isn't really so much of a long-term holding tank as it is a short-term. This is one of the ones where you would bring bait home, it's still alive, you know you're going out in the morning, 
you transfer it over to this tank and it's alive in the morning when you go to leave. Guys, if this video has helped you out, please take a moment, give it that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, I try to post a video like this every Saturday. It covers a fishing or boating related tip or trick. So hit that subscribe button and the little bell. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video or go live. Guys, I appreciate you sticking with me on this one. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you build one of your own bait tanks, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you make any changes and what works out for you. So guys, that's all I've got for this week. Hope you've enjoyed this one. And until next time, we'll catch you out on the water.